Hey everybody, Miss Simpson here. So uh, today's video, we are going to do a kind of circuit Tabata workout. Um, this is from the organization called Derby. Um, great website, lots of resources. Go and check out their website. Um, I've been using their website a lot to share information on our school's PE page. Um, but yeah, so the workout today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 30 seconds of each exercise with 15 seconds of rest in between. Now, on the workout, I will um, post it at the end of the video too, so you can do it along with me, but you can also, um, at the end of the video, you can pause it so that you can see the workout and just do it on your own. The workout video or page will show um, the nine exercises you do, and they actually give you a number that you're supposed to do. So it might say do 20 jumping jacks, do five high knees, whatever it is. It will say a specific number. Today though, for our workout, we're not gonna do specific numbers. We're just gonna see how many we can do in the 30 seconds. Um, but you can always go back to this video um, and pause it and do your the, the amounts that that's written in. Um, you can also challenge yourself and you can do it, um, do all of it, the whole workout one time through. You can do all the workout um, two or three times through, all the way up to like seven times, just rest for a minute or two in between each round. But you don't just have to do it one time through. We're going to do it one time through today, but you can always just repeat the video and do it again. Um, or you can do it on your own. Uh, just set a little timer, okay? Uh, so yeah, let's get started with our Derby Tabata workout. So the first thing we're gonna do is step jacks. So you're doing a jumping jack, but instead of jumping, you're stepping out to the side. Now make sure you still have control of your legs and we're not doing it fast and crazy. We're just doing nice motion of our legs coming out. Very good, we have about eight seconds left. Keep going. And rest, so we have the 15 seconds of rest. The next thing we're gonna do is a calf raise and pull. So our calves are the muscles, or a part of our body down here um, at the bottom of your leg. So we're going to stand on our toes and you're gonna try to hold it. If you can't hold it, you can always slowly come back down and then stand back up on your toes. It helps if you have some place that you can stare at, a little spot on the wall. Remember, you can always come down and then come back up and try to hold it again. Good job, hold that pose. Working out those calves. And stop, now we're holding. And the next exercise we're gonna do is those step jacks again. Make sure you catch your breath, breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Whew. There we go. And then we do those step jacks. You can go as fast or as slow as you need to. You can go a little, you can sit a little lower so then you're really using your leg muscles as you bring your legs out. You can always stand tall and go a little slow. It's kind of whatever you need. All right, stop. We're doing our rest. The next thing we're gonna do is gonna be a little stretch for our forearms. A little bit of rest. Whew. So, Make a stop motion with your hand. Then you're gonna use your other hand and slowly kind of pull your fingers back a little bit. You're gonna feel this along the top of your hand. And we're just gonna hold it. No need to switch arms because in a couple of rounds, we're gonna do that in our workout. So we're just focusing on the one arm right now. You can pull back a little more with your fingers if you want, but make sure we're not pulling a muscle to hurt yourself. All right, go ahead and rest. 
So we're going to do another arm exercise. So for this one, we're going to have our hands out and we're going to make a T and then go back to in front of us. There we go. So nice straight back. Make sure your arms are even. Nice smooth motion. You can even go back a little bit so you can kind of feel your shoulder blades close. Nice. Keep your back nice and straight. You can go a little faster, a little slower. I like to go this speed because then I really feel my muscles working and moving. Good. Go ahead and rest. So our next exercise, we're going to do that forearm stretch again, but this time we're going to use the other arm. So use the arm you didn't use last time. All right. So make a stop with your hands. Use the other hand. Pull those fingers back a little bit. So you just feel it in here and along the top. You're going to feel it in both places. You can always go a little further, pushing your um, fingers back so you don't have to. Whatever feels good for your muscle right now. Nice job. Almost done. Keep holding that. Good. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to be in a plank position. You can be on your knees or you can be on your hands and feet. And we're going to slowly lift an arm and we're going to switch every arm that we end, that we lift. All right? So we're in plank position. Lift an arm, bring it down. Lift an arm, bring it down. Lift an arm, bring it down. Nice. Keep your tummy nice and tight. Keep your back as straight as you can. Go as fast or as slow as you need to go. Okay, go ahead and rest. So, the next exercise we're going to do is we're going to hold a plank. And I'm actually going to do the modified version on my knees and forearms. Alright. So you can do it like this. You can do it like this, or you can be on your hands and feet, or hands and knees, like I'm doing. Whatever kind of plank you want to hold right now. You can even be up on your feet. Stay up like this. Whatever you want to do. Good. So the next plank we're going to do is those are those arm raises planks again. So you can do it modified on your knees. It's a little bit harder, but you can totally do it on your knees, a modified version. So you're in a plank on your knees. You can lift up your arms like this, or you can be hands and feet. Keep that tummy tight. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Rest. And rest. So we have finished our Tabata Derby workout. Um, at the end of the video, you can see we finished! Yay! That's what that whistle was. <laughs> so, at the end of the workout, I'm going to have this workout posted. Or at the end of this video, I should say, I'm going to have this workout posted so that you can pause it and do all of the sessions again. Um, you can hold them for, you can do them for 30 seconds, or you can follow along with what's written uh, for how many times you're going to do each one. Hope you enjoyed this workout. Thanks so much for doing it with me.